Hi, I'm Lauren Lambert. I'm the attorney here at Aero Legal Solutions, and I'm going to discuss with you today what are 11 phrases or things that you should not do in your testimony, whether it's before the Social Security Administration or in a workers' comp hearing or in any legal proceeding. You also should eliminate these phrases when you're dealing with people of authority so that you can have more credibility, whether bosses, police officers, CEOs, presidents, little toddlers who own you, whatever the case may be, try to eliminate these phrases and these habits from your speech when you're wanting to be powerful and credible. The first set of weasel phrases that I want to talk about are what I call misdirectors, meaning that, that they misdirect your speaker into thinking something other than what you want to say either consciously or subconsciously and the phrases that are included are the things that you shouldn't do when giving testimony is to use the phrase to be honest or to say you know a lot or similar things or to laugh giggle or smile when you're asked a serious question now the problem to with the phrase to be honest is that judges and other people of authority have heard a lot of people who constantly use that phrase who are not very honest and therefore they think that people that use it must not be being honest and they're flagging their dishonesty they also expect you to be honest so if you're having to say to be honest they may say well does that mean that what they are saying now is honest and what they said before is dishonest and we use these phrases when we want to say something uncomfortable and or embarrassing about ourselves or others or uh, we may use them to say things when we really shouldn't be honest and I'm going to give you examples of that the problem with the phrase you know is because even though it's often a habit of people that doesn't really detract from what they're saying the problem that I've seen with clients is it's actually a subconscious statement they're asking of the judge to have the judge tell them if they are not explaining themselves well enough so they're assuming that the judge understood certain things or they're assuming they said certain things when they did not and they're using you know as a crutch that makes them forget what they've actually said or not said so don't say you know and don't laugh and giggle when you're answering a serious question. Now, a lot of times people can't help laughing and giggling. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people will laugh and giggle and smile even when they have something honest and serious to say because they've made it a habit. It's a protective measure. It's a way that they've dealt with very belligerent people in their lives. They learn to smile giggle and laugh even dealing with serious things but try not to do that it attracts and I'm going to give I'm gonna have my assistant read me some non-legal questions and then lead me some read me some legal questions or ask me some legal questions so I can show how these phrases and these habits really don't help your credibility go ahead general question do I look fat in these pants uh, to be honest, uh, no, you, oh, you look great. Legal questions. Is your client, Mr. Defense, guilty of streaking? Uh, to be honest, um, yeah, he's guilty of streaking. Now, of course, an attorney shouldn't answer that way. You don't implicate your own client. You think of a different way to ask that or answer that. Could you tell me, Mr. Attorney, what you and your client said to each other? To be honest, uh, what my client said is he came in, he confessed to the murder. He indicated that, yes, he did it out of a fit of anger and that the clothing is buried in his backyard on the northeast corner. Again, you usually use the term to be honest when you're saying things you shouldn't be saying. So don't say to be honest. Don't lie.
there's something you don't want to say and you don't think you should have to say, ask your attorney if you have to share that information. Have you completed your community service restitution hours? Well, um, to be honest, I, uh, I did a lot of work. I marked things down on a calendar. I I put a lot of things away. I threw a lot of garbage away. Yeah, so um, to be honest, yeah. General question How bad is my cancer? You know, uh, cancer can be bad. People get cancer a lot in this earth, you know, and some of them do really well with chemotherapy and treatment and surgery and. Some people get radiation and other people go on to live a long, healthy life and, you know, and some people don't, so, you know. Legal question. I have to figure out if you can work. Can you work? You know, uh, sometimes I, I go and do a few things around the house, around the yard, and I... I worked a long time in my life. I've worked really hard, you know, and, you know, um, Bill up the street, he, uh, <laughs> he just sits around all the time and, you know, he really didn't deserve disability, but uh, he got it, so, you know. General question, do you love me? <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Legal question. How many times a month are your symptoms so bad you can't work or be active? Well, you know, sometimes my symptoms get so bad I can't even get out of bed. So, um, uh, probably about, I don't know, five times a month. You'd be surprised how many clients I have. And again, I don't want to belittle them because some of them can't help it, but you'd be surprised how many people will smile and joke around and not realize they're doing it when they're answering a simple or serious question. The second group of words I want to talk about or phrases are the diminishers. They detract or diminish from what you have to say. And those words are like, if I remember right, I don't remember if, but, I'm not sure, if I had to guess, maybe I, kinda, sorta. Now here's the reality. If you truly do not remember something, you shouldn't lie about it. But most of the time, when clients are saying these phrases when they shouldn't be, they're because there are things in their case they should know because they're the ones that brought the information to the attorney or they're the ones that told the story and wrote a statement. So do your homework. Know what you need to know. And the other reality is, is some clients actually know the information but they have the habit of saying these phrases and it detracts from their credibility. So let me answer some questions to show you how People sometimes use these phrases and to demonstrate why they should not. General question. Are you sober and wide awake enough to drive the school bus? Mm, if, if I remember right, um, but I, I don't remember specifically, but if I remember right, I, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm ready to ride that bus. Legal question. I need information about your injury. Did your injury happen at work? If I remember right, I was coming to work and I walked in the door and there was a rug that was out of line and I tripped and fell. Now, that's something you should remember, but some people just say it as a habit. Don't. General question: Can you make my can you make sure my kids don't play in the freeway? I'm not sure, but if I had to guess, 
which I will go ahead and do, I can make sure that your kids do not play in the freeway. So they're in good hands with me. Legal question. What are your worst symptoms and describe them? I'm not sure, but my I could say that my worst symptoms are the pain and I'm not completely sure, but I sometimes get pain in my back and it's really bad and it hurts. And if I had to guess, uh, sometimes it goes down into my right leg. Just say what you know. Don't say I'm not sure if I had to guess. If you are guessing, you shouldn't be saying it. And if you're not sure, you should do what is necessary to be sure. General question. Will you marry me? Maybe I, yeah, maybe I'll marry you. Legal question. If you are able to work, tell me, how much can you lift? Maybe I can lift 40 pounds, maybe, maybe not, maybe just 10 or 15 pounds, and then not very often. Now this is a little more difficult question and similar questions, but make sure you take the time if you're trying to get disability benefits that you know what you can and can't do. And you don't really need to exaggerate it, and your attorney can explain why. General question. Before we have sex, can you tell me if you have a STD? I sort of, or I, I kind of think I don't, so yeah, I, I kind of think things are okay. <laughs> Legal question. I need to find out what you can do in your off work life. Do you shop? And if so, for how long and what do you shop for? I sort of think I shop about two times a month and I kind of go really slow and I only get things that I can sort of get right in front of me and then after I've kind of been there for a while it's difficult and uh, I get tired and I sort of go to the counter and I get things checked out and I get home and my husband kind of helps me out helps get the groceries out so okay the last group of phrases I call the betrayers and again these are phrases that people will use in their testimony that they do so out of habit and sometimes they don't even realize they're using them and the reason you shouldn't use them should be obvious to you when my assistant asks the questions but they are I want to say if I had to say for the most part or something like that general question can you do a good job if we hire you for this position I wanna say that I can do a good job so yeah legal question how were you injured in your workplace accident? I want to say that I was up on the roof and there was something in the way and I tripped on it and I fell off the roof and I fell down and broke my arm. Now the reality is, is sometimes people don't know for sure in certain injuries because they've had a brain injury and they have memory problems. But don't want to say something. Say what you have to say. And if there's something you don't know, specifically state why. If there's statements or other things you can read to refresh your memory, do your homework and be able to say what you know. General question. Can you assist my 90-year-old mother across the road? If I had to say whether or not I could assist your 90 year old mother across the road I would say I could legal question did you report your accident to any of your supervisors 
If I had to say, I think I uh, reported it to my first line super supervisor, Joe, and then I reported it to the HR um, the following day. General question. While next to the rattlesnake pit, will you make sure our two-year-old toddler does not wander off and fall in? For the most part, I'll make sure that when I'm there at the zoo and they have the rattlesnake pit, the open rattlesnake pit that doesn't have the fence around it, I will make sure that our toddler does not fall in. Legal question. I need to find out if you have tried all you can to get better. Have you followed your doctor's advice? For the most part, I've listened to what my doctor has had to say and followed what my doctor has recommended and taken my prescribed medications as pres indicated by the doctor. Now, many people will say for the most part, just as a habit. And the question is, what is the other part that they didn't do it? Don't use that phrase. General question. Did you get your chores done in your room and outside? Well, I went in my room and I picked up a lot of things. I did some vacuuming and uh, took the Lysol and sprayed things and wiped them and or something like that. And then I went outside and I pulled some weeds and mowed the lawn or something like that. Legal question. When was the last time you drank or used any illicit drugs or taken medication more than prescribed? I was not drinking anymore after December of 2019 or something like that. Don't say or something like that. Say what you know. Weed out of your vocabulary these weasel phrases or ways of presentation. And if you do so, you will have greater credibility and greater power in your testimony before judges in your cases. And you will also have greater credibility when speaking with supervisors, police officers, people you want to influence, and other peoples of authority. Learn to be precise and exact in what you have to say and try to eliminate these weasel phrases from your speech. Thank you.